<laughs> Welcome back, Tigers. Hope you had a great weekend. This is the final stretch until holiday break, so get excited, but also be sure to stay focused. I'm Olivia Cisneros with Tiger News Network. And I'm Ella Mendoza. In this week's holiday special of TNN, we will be learning about the slow high blood drive, plans for winter break, the artist of the week, and how to submit your yearbook portraits. Now here comes the news you need to know. Tigers, the annual blood drive is coming up and it has never been more important. It will be taking place on December 16th from 1 to 5 p.m. in the big gym, and you must be 16 years old to participate. This is a great opportunity to help your community during such a difficult time. Masks will be worn at all times, and the blood drive will be socially distanced. By donating, you can get tested for the COVID-19 antibodies. You can find the link to permission slips and to sign up in the bio of the Slow HS ASB Instagram page and the ASB website. Tigers, the holidays are upon us. This is the time of year to be joyful and caring. However, this holiday season is different and it is important to keep each other safe. 60% of the student body wants to return to school, but we are currently in the purple tier and need to be out for three weeks in order to return. So what can you do this holiday season to make sure we can get back? Follow the state issued guidelines. The stay at home order that started on December 7th is in effect for three weeks requiring that we don't engage in any group gatherings during that time, wear a mask whenever you leave your household, and after traveling, be sure to quarantine for 14 days. Thanks, Tigers. Stay safe and happy holidays. Do you and your family have a holiday tradition? Maybe you watch a specific movie every year, or maybe visit a specific place every year. TNN producer Ellie Pearson set out to answer these gripping questions by asking various students about their family's holiday tradition. Hey Tigers, as we near winter break, students and staff are looking forward to their festive plans. The traditions will still, for the most part, remain the same. If we can't do it in person, we'll figure out how to do it over Zoom or something. We're going to stick around here, no travel plans, and my wife and I will uh, see my um, my mom, my dad, my brother, and his girlfriend. While COVID-19 restrictions are affecting how we celebrate, traditions can still stay the same. This week, TNN got a closer look of Three Kings Day. So the night of the 5th, we'll have like a party, and what we will do is we'll like have this rosca, it's like a bread, and it has babies in it. So you cut it up and whoever gets the baby is like lucky and has to make a tamal dinner. And a special family tradition. So we get these like super tacky ornaments every year. We'll hide the one each year all around the house and take turns hiding it and finding it. And then on Christmas Day, it'll be placed on the tacky ornament tree. Don't forget that while this year may be different, this time is also very special. It seems like Christmas for us is kind of like Thanksgiving part two, where you get to have, you know, a good a good meal with your family and you get presents. We do celebrate Christmas, but like we don't give gifts during Christmas time. So it wasn't like, you know, super special for me as a little kid. But El Dia de los Reyes Magos or the Day of the Three Kings is like the best. <laughs> have a great winter break, everyone. Stay safe. Thanks, Ellie. Those are some creative ways to celebrate the holidays. We have even more creative tigers on campus. And if you want to learn more about them, make sure to check out the SLOHS Arts Instagram. Producer Michael Lanier has more on this. Hey Tigers, it's Michael here with Tina at Home Edition. Last week I talked about the SLOHS Musician of the Week nomination. But don't worry, I'm back and I did not forget about all you artists out there. The SLOHS Artist of the Week nomination is a nomination cast every week by the SLOHS Arts Instagram page at SLOHS Arts. The nomination displays multiple artists and information about the background of each nominated artist. These nominations started in early October and they're still going strong. Now, you might be wondering, hey, how do I get nominated or nominate someone I think deserves this? Well, you're in luck again because it's still very, very simple. If you want to nominate yourself or others, all you have to do is go to the Slow HS Arts Instagram page at Slow HS Arts and click the link in their bio. It will take you to a Google form that you can fill out for Artist of the Week. So Tigers, listen to me here again. If you know any amazing artists in your life that you think deserve to be nominated, let us know. Head over to the Slowish Arts Instagram page 
at Slow Just Arts and click the link in their bio. Happy Winter Wonderland Week! Today, build a gingerbread house for the chance to earn 10 spirit points for your class. Submit all photos through your spirit classroom. The ASB is wishing you a great rest of Winter Wonderland Week and very happy holidays. The Slow High Improv team is having open practices on Zoom every Thursday at 2.30. If you're interested in trying out for improv or just making people laugh, then come on out. Auditions for the team will be happening soon. Email Ali Ryan or Rory Svetich for more information. All the pretty girls stand up. All the pretty boys stand Sweet. up. Pretty boys in the Sweet. building. Sweet. This right here is my sway. Sway. All the girls are on me. Everybody pay attention. This right here is my pretty boy sway. Tigers, because of complicated social distance guidelines, it's possible that we may not be doing on-campus school photos this year, but your yearbook class has an alternative way to get your portrait into the yearbook. Use the QR code on the screen or follow the link in the description to log on to Yearbook Plus. This website was created by your yearbook provider, Jostens, and will allow you to upload your portrait and much, much more. I'm going to make sure I set up my account today. And now to Ella with the sports. Thanks, Olivia. For sports this week, TNN producer Ian Mackay has produced a montage of on-campus conditioning during the first semester. That's it for this week and 2020 Tigers. From Tiger News Network, I'm Olivia Cisneros. And I'm Ella Mendoza. We hope you have happy holidays and a restful winter break, Tigers. See you in 2021.